In this video, you will learn how to apply the cape skin on your Samsung Galaxy A30 and Samsung Galaxy A50. So let's get started. To apply the skin, you will need two things to be under bright lighting and patience. There are two types of Samsung Galaxy A50 skins. One is the glass back which only covers the glass back of the phone and the other is the full back which covers the back and sides of the phone. A camera skin cutout is also included in every order. A trustworthy microfiber cloth will help you out in the application. You will also need a hair dryer for this installation. So pause the video until you get everything in place. Welcome back. First, use the microfiber cloth included in the package and give your phone a good cleaning. Now take out the camera skin and align with your phone's camera as shown. Once perfectly aligned, apply some pressure on it. First, we are going to apply the glass back skin. In case you want the full back skin, skip straight to it. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Now, align the camera cutout and flash, making sure the skin aligns perfectly straight with the glass edge at the top and apply some firm pressure on it. Now lift the skin from the bottom and rotate the 3M paper as shown. Just make sure the skin is aligned perfectly on both corners. Now check the corners. If the skin overlaps on one side and the glass edge is visible on the other side, then peel back the bottom skin and align again. Once done, remove the 3M paper and tie and apply some firm pressure on it. Get the hair dryer and blow it on one edge. Now, do the same for the other three sides. Rub all the edges 10-12 to 12 times with a microfiber cloth to make the skin blend into your phone. Wow, looks stunning, right? Say hello to your new slick Samsung Galaxy A50. Hello, so you went for the full back skin. Let's get started. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Flip your phone upside down and align your skin perfectly with the charging port, the speaker holes, microphone and headphone jack. If you don't nail it in your first try, just remove it gently and try again. Once done, use your thumbs to apply a pressure at the bottom. To avoid ugly air pockets at the curve, use the hair dryer at the bottom. And apply firm pressure bit by bit to make it look like this. Place your phone on a flat surface. Then remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Now align the skin with camera cutout and flash. If you mess it up, just peel back slowly and try again. Once perfectly aligned, apply firm pressure on it. Next, remove the 3M paper entirely and smoothen it out. Once done, use the hair dryer at the top until the material softens up. And apply firm pressure bit by bit. Make sure you align with the microphone.
Repeat the process for the bottom. Now, heat the right side of the skin until it softens up. Trick to do it easily and securely is to apply pressure on the sides as shown and tap the skin near the same tray like this. Do the same thing for the left side. Just that, this time apply pressure on the sides and simply tap the skin near the power button and volume buttons. Heat up the corners and apply firm pressure on them while keeping the flaps untouched. Do the same for all four corners. The key to get a seamless feel is to align the corner here with the flap edge here. Heat the flap up until it softens up. Now put foam pressure on a small part of the flap. Then continue heating and applying the flap until it's done. Any creases or ripples can be smoothened out by a trustworthy microfiber cloth after applying some heat on the skin. Now repeat this process for the other three flaps. Now if your attention span didn't allow you to remember everything, don't worry, just jump back. Finally, use a microfiber cloth and rub it edge to edge 10 to 12 times to give you a seamless feel. What? This wasn't tough at all. Say hello to your sleek Samsung Galaxy A50.